Hello everyone, welcome to your brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we're gonna see a new question that is something called common end. Okay, so they actually given a method which is having two parameters integer a array and integer b array. Okay, the question is given two arrays of integers a and b written true if they have the same first element or they have the same last element. So both that is will be length one or more. Yeah, first of all, they conclude that both that is will be minimum one character length or more. So you don't need to check it is length one or not. Okay, you don't need to check for the index out of bound exception because minimum one character length is there. Okay. Now the question is written true if they have the same first element or the same last element. It means in the two array, the first element and last element should be same or either sorry both that is either this first element this was first element should be same or last element should be same either first element of both should be same or last element of both should be same or okay so then if match written true otherwise written false okay so how to get the first element is array of zero how to get the last element is array of Len minus one. Okay, so let me uh, copy this back to Eclipse and paste it. Okay, so logic here is if A's first element and B's first element should match. So how to get the A's first element? A array of zero is is equal to B array of zero. So A's first element and B's first element is equal or because they're given a condition watch or or they have a same last element. How to get the A's last element? A dot length minus one is is equal to B of B dot length minus one. That's the last element. So if this is a condition written true. So else written false. Okay, so first element equal or last element is equal written true otherwise written false let me save it uh, let me copy this and back to here and let me paste it and click on go yes i got all success right and this is the solution for this problem and again same uh, previously as we discussed in this two cases see if the condition match written true if the condition fails written false so if this is the case you can just simply write written this one and you can just remove this okay save it and now let me copy this and back to website we don't need these many lines you can just remove and paste and click on go yes i got all correct right and that's it and this is the solution for this problem and thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next question in the next video thank you